This is where the magic happens. Where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh my God. Because Mo knows. Yes, Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh, Mo knows. Check, check, check. One, two. Test one, two. Check one, two. Test one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines at the Smart Bro Studios. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Yes, welcome to the show. It is a Wednesday night, New Year's Eve. If you're Chinese, isn't it? Again, isn't it? You're Chinese, right, Ken? No, I'm not. All I right, just but- look like Chinese. <laughs> Sorry, I keep on making it up. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the podcast as we uh, do it one more time for two hours. And we have a uh, special, special night tonight because we are uh, proud to have our major sponsor's newest endorser on the show. Yeah, she's, she's beside crazy me, Mo. Crazy good looking. I've never met her. I mean, of course, I know of her. I mean, it's my job to, but man, I've never seen her in person. And now. I'm actually rather happy that I have. Mm-hmm. Please welcome Sam Mig Light, newest endorser, the insanely sexy Sam Pinto. Sam, good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone. How are you? Good, you? I'm good, man. Awesome. Pretty good. Starting a little late today than we'd like to, but nevertheless, the phone lines are full. We've got a lot of uh, people trying to get on the show. Going to ask you questions, Sam. Oh. They're going to be asking questions about their lives that we're going to need to go ahead and give our two cents with. <laughs> and every caller who gets to the show, may I remind, wins a Philips Go Gear MP3 player courtesy of tradeport.com.ph. Also, tradeport.com.ph is giving 100 with 100,000 bucks to one of our uh, podcast listeners. All you got to do is like them on Facebook. So find Tradeport on Facebook and you can win that. But this show, of course, brought to you by San Mig Light, the uh, low calorie, uh, just the, the best beer actually in the Philippines, 100 calories only. So it's perfect for you guys. It's powered by Smart Bro. We are at the Smart Bro Studios. I'll ask you questions about your career, Sam, your uh, new endorsement, obviously huge for you. Mm-hmm. And then we'll just take a bunch of calls. Let me, let me start with like just being selected nice. to, to be the face of this new campaign for just the, the largest beer in the country, the one most, uh, the mostly everybody drinks. I mean, like I, I drink only exclusively Sam Big, like not because they're the sponsor of the show, but that's, <laughs> that's the one that I can handle. It's the one that I enjoy. It's the one that keeps me going throughout the night. I mean, if I, anything else is going to, you know, it's not, it's not uh, a pleasant experience for me. I love this stuff and everybody else does. So when you're chosen to be the face of uh, San Miguel, it must be huge for you. Yeah, it's actually very crazy. I can't believe I'm in the <laughs> number one. The number one country is low, low calorie light. Beer. Hello, hello, everyone. Like you said, everyone drinks something like right? Right, and it's and it's a sexy beer. I mean. <clears throat> I don't want to say it's the beer that only hot chicks drink, but every hot chick that I see out there is only drinking San Miguel Light, right? So, right. I mean, fitting that you get uh, chosen for this. How how old are you, Sam? I, I, this is my first time to meet you. You're, you're, I know. you're stunning. I, I'm not going to look at you. I'm going to look at my computer here <laughs> just so I don't lose my frame of thought. How, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Oh. Mm-hmm. 21. Again. Again. 21. Again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. 659-6969. How are, you good? are you good with advice? Um, I'll try to help you guys as much as possible. <laughs> All right, you, you're gonna you're gonna do just fine. Just be careful. The questions can get rough. Are and, you serious? Oh yeah, oh yes. And oh. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're on MoTwister.com. We're the number one uh, downloaded show in on the uh, iTunes. Um, oh, wow. In both here audio and video, where we we also rate in the uh, U.S., Canada, Singapore, all over the world. We're gonna we'll be taking questions from different countries and stuff like that, and they're all gonna be kind of intrigued to know a little bit about you, Sam. So let's the part. Let's get the party started here. I'll continue to interview you throughout the show, but uh, let's get to some of these people who've been on hold for over my oh gosh for over like uh, forty minutes now. Let's start oh. with Joy, who's twenty two. Joy, you've been on hold for about forty minutes. What's up? Hi. Hi. Hello. What's going on? All right. Um, first of all, I love your podcast. Half of my iPod's content consists of it, and I listen to it every day. Great. So if you <laughs> like our podcast, you must love San Miguel Light as well. I don't drink. What? You gotta get <laughs> drinking, baby. Come on. Yeah, but um, good for Sam that she's a new endorser, though. <laughs> yeah, hey, thank you very much. You know, I used to not drink. Yeah, this is this is really this is the fucking truth. All right. I, I used really to not, don't. I know, but I used to be like you and not. Okay. <laughs> you're, 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 no, I you're tried t- it once and then I got so drunk and vomit. Yeah. Try, so I don't want to do <laughs> it again. Yeah. Rockstar. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> no, but you're 22. Trust me. I didn't start drinking until I was like 31. 
or 32. I, and it's okay, exclusively Okay, I started at 18, December. I think. And yeah, then, you'll grow into it, baby. Yeah, don't I, I don't like it. Really. All right, Joy, what's up? Okay, um, I I just need your opinion because um, my husband's ex living partner um, wants to lend money from us. Okay, you mean his uh, his ex girlfriend? Yeah. All right. But they live in partner before, and um, this is to pay their former house bills, and it's under my husband's name. Okay, so that's she's- why I'm. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> she's not borrowing money. She's asking for him to pay his bills. She's his bills. borrowing, but I don't know if she's gonna. Well, be listen, able to dear. Pay us. No, listen. It's. If it's under his name, mm-hmm. she doesn't have to touch this money. She mm-hmm. should go mm-hmm. out there and pay. He will pay for it his goddamn self. This is, it's under his name. Yeah, because the thing is, we're already married and... Joy, Joy, I know, still, th- I know uh, that, Joy, uh, yeah. but you don't have to make her part of the situation. If the bills are in his name, he mm-hmm. should pay for it, and he, she doesn't have to touch this stuff. No, she's living there still. Oh well, and then she has to transfer. She has to transfer. Um, has to move out. They separated, yeah. right? And then we got married, and um, they used to live there, and she stays there. Kai separated na sila, and for it's been a year na she was able to pay it naman the bills, and now she's asking after a year for the money because okay. I don't know what happened, why she doesn't have money anymore to pay, but she's asking and. Okay, how I, much? How much is the money? Four thousand. Okay, this is what your husband's got to do. He's got to go to wherever, whatever utilities or whatever thing he owes, pay it everything, and then close the account. And then yeah, she's going to be able thing. That's why I'm at, so for you, it's okay, right? Because for me... No, no, no. It's not okay that she touches the money. I need your husband to go to wherever it is, and be it Morocco, uh, mm-hmm. fucking uh, Sky Cable, whatever it is. Yeah. He needs to go there, pay for it all. Because if not, she's going to ring up a bell for him. That's uh, a bill for him. That's going to run higher than four thousand. Yeah, four thousand not so bad. My husband will be the one that's liable to it because it's it's his right. Under it, it his makes name. you wonder why she's still living in that place. Exactly. I don't know. It's you know crazy. why? Because her your husband, out. your husband, pays Probably, her a little visit I on the yeah, weekends. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they separate. That um, she she cheated. Yeah, because not they're not together boss. anymore. Yeah, yeah, and actually, it's really odd. My husband got her pregnant, but she hey, was Louis, like, you married this guy within a year after he got he broke up with this girl. Yeah. Come on, of course you're gonna get this kind of drama. It's, uh-huh. it's so soon, and you're married now with this no, guy. No, we already known each other for a long time. Still because it still doesn't matter. He might not yeah. have been ready. He might not have been ready for a marriage, and obviously he wasn't. I mean, there's shit still in his name that that his ex girlfriend's living off of. Mm-hmm. You gotta close all of that it's stuff. Really, I don't know. It's super martyr, even. Like, Joy, double time, baby. Tell him what it has to be done. If he okay. doesn't do it, you, then you have to lay down the law about it. You guys are still newly married, meaning you mm-hmm. have a really good say in this marriage. Yeah. So go ahead <laughs> and get things done so you don't get screwed over it later. All right? Yeah, thank you so much. No worries, doll. Bye-bye. Bye. Sam, you ever lived in with a guy? Nope, no, never. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. It's just a headache. Not with a guy. Oh, I'm with a guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gan lives in with men. And he hates yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go to Ron, who's 28. You're in Antipodo. What's up? Yes, hi. Um, good evening to you guys. Good evening. What's yeah, up? Yeah, um, I'm just wondering, like, cause, uh, I don't know how I can convince my girl um, to, to play with herself in front of me. You want her to play with herself in front of you? Uh, yeah. Okay, does she play with herself anyway? Do you, are, nope. she, is she open about, like, does she talk to you about her masturbating? Nope. Nope. Well, then you're going to have to at least start there with conversation. Like, you go... Hey, I just want to know, do you ever do this? And if she says yes, then okay, you're in. I mean, you're, 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 we're at a comfort zone here that she's able to talk about this kind of stuff. Then if she says no, how dare you ask me that? Then there's no way in hell yeah. she's going to play, play with herself in front of you. First off, she should be comfortable doing it. She has to be comfortable with talking about it. Yeah. I think everybody does. I'm not mm. Sam. I'm not going to ask you how often. <laughs> oh, you know just ask me, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you just ask me. But, but, but Sam, how difficult is it to talk about masturbation if you're a female? You know, actually, I think it depends on the person. Yeah. Because um, some people are really, you know, they're open, some are not. It really depends. But for me, I guess... If there's no nothing bad, everyone does it. Right, everyone I does, think. of course. So, yeah, it would be naive to say that nobody does, right? Yeah, exactly. So you're like, would you be able to talk about it though with your boyfriend? Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, if he, if I, for example, I was your boyfriend. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, babe. <laughs> yes, babe. Uh, 
How do you about you? Do you, you uh, play with yourself regularly? Um, I can say I can I play with myself, but not regularly. Oh, okay. But you know what would be cool if when we're in the bedroom, we you know, be a young couple, that uh, you know you show me, and that'd be kind of cool. You see how that works, Ron? She has to say yes to uh-huh. the actual yeah. question before you get into the whole. Mm-hmm. It would be nice if you do this in front of me because you have not asked her at all. You don't have a gauge on whether she'll be able to be cool with this. Exactly. So ask, start by asking her. All right, okay. and don't do it over dinner, and don't do it in the morning. <laughs> Eh, meron kami, meron akong pinsan kasama dito sa bahay. Uh, ang nangyari, nagliligo ang aking misis. Mm-hmm. And then, yung pinsan ko, binusohan tong misis ko. No <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> and wait, wait, did you say you lived in your cousin's house? Yeah, yeah. Oh ang masama, God. ang masama nito, nakatira kami sa, sa bahay niya. Mm. Bahay ng tito so namin. So who, who caught him? Your wife or you caught him? My, mm, ang wife ko. Oh my God, that's the worst. All right, so he did he see uh, her fully naked? Sabi ng misis ko, oo, nakasi nakahubad na siya eh. All right, so... And then... All right, go ahead. What, what, so what's the question then? What do, we, what do you want from us? Uh, gusto ko lang kung may binabala kasi ako kasi hindi ko pa siya na-confront hindi mm-hmm. ko alam ko anong gagawin ko pag nakita ko siya yeah. so um, naisip ko lang uh, hindi ko alam eh kung paano anong gagawin ko eh well listen uh, Brock is he your first cousin second cousin what is he it's my second cousin so you're not really really close with him or, or what, what, what's pero, best? Pero, pero close kami close okay. kami why do you live in his house yeah why do you live in his house uh, kasi due to financial ano okay can galing you, kami ng province na punta kami okay. dito para can you live in anyone else's house mm, no no well, you don't have a brother sister parents uh, other cousins uh, actually nasa province talaga yung ano namin eh because the thing is, you have you have to move out immediately, all right? Because it starts with here, and then next thing you know, you can't live in a home where your wife is always looking around the back of her shoulder. Kung may butas yung yung mga walls or anything like that, may may mga video video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung mga yung mga careless whispers in the background. Parang na traumatized siya. Of course. Every time na maliligo siya, kailangan yung anak ko nakabantay don sa CR. You can't live like that. You can't. You can't do it. So you have to move out immediately now. If it's a financial problem, you have to make a friend. You have to look for other cousins, siblings, whatever. Go back to the province. I don't care. This is a marriage. This is your wife. She can't be put out there for for, for uh, anyone to see naked at any time they want. You know what I mean? There are some things more important than your financial woes. I mean, there are very little things that are more important than that because money is so, so important. Mo, mo anong gagawin ko dun sa pinsan ko? You got to move out anong? first. Move out before you confront him. Because right now you can't because you're still living in your house. Alam mo, alam mo, ang nasa isip ko. They might kick you out or something. Yeah, what? Ang nasa isip ko, kasi every time napupunta rin yung misis na dito, alam mo, bala ko rin gawin sa misis na yung ginawa niya sa misis ko. Yeah, yeah, that's not the... Di ba maganda yun? Yeah, not really. Because you know how I like revenge and stuff. It makes me happy. But you get nothing out of that in terms of um, fixing your problem. Like like a lot of revenge. I like revenge because it helps sometimes fix the problem. Yeah, well, but this doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This doesn't fix your problem. This just yeah, you just gets you even. But next thing you know, he's gonna do it with the wife, and then you're gonna become the scumbag that he is. Yeah. So so, oh, okay. Barak, you have to move out now. Oh okay okay. Like make it the only thing important right now is to get out of that house. 
How long okay, have you, how okay, long okay. have you been living there? <clears throat> Mga eight months na kami. Yeah, get out, dude. Bro, get out. Get out now. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay. Get out this week. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank right. you, Mom. Sam, any, anything you want to add to this? Nope. <laughs> no? All right, yeah. See? We're, I think we're all in agreement. Gan? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Move out. Same thing. Yeah, Move out. Get out correct. of there. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank all you, right. thank you. No way. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Let's, um, let's go to JL, who's 27, Manila. JL, what's up? Uh, kay Doc Gan. Go. Ta- yeah. Go ahead. Um, tatanong ko lang sana kung ano bang pwedeng, uh, meron bang pwedeng inumin yung asawa ko na para... Pumuti yung nipple niya. <laughs> Pumuti or maging pink? Pink uh, na lang. Maging pink, sige. Maging lighter ang color. <laughs> Sam, oh, yun, wait, yun. before we go to Gan, Sam, <laughs> how important is it for girls with the, with the, to have the pink nipples? I know like the little the, the light, no dark armpits, very yeah, important yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, of course. But the nipples, I mean, does it, do you guys really care? Because we don't care. Oh, you guys don't care? We don't care. Dude, you're naked. Yeah. Why, do we, why would we how care by that point? This guy calling cares. JL, why do you care? Uh... Kasi siyempre pag nasa taas mo siya, makikita mo na perfect yung body. Pagdating doon, may team, di ba? Parang... Dude, no. I mean, listen, is she, is she brown skin? Is she dark? Yeah, is she dark? Um, fair na ma- ma- maputi naman siya. Hmm. Maputi, as in maputi. Because imagine um, if she was dark and then she had pink nipples. That would kind of look weird. weird. <laughs> right, di ba? Yeah. You don't want that. Because first off, the color of the nipples depends on the the fairness or the color of the skin of the of the woman. Hindi kasi dati hindi naman ganun ka ano eh, parang nagda-dark pa nga siya. Meron bang baka mamaya may medical ano rin pala kung bakit ganun. No, no, no. dark nipples. Are, are they charcoal black? I mean, <laughs> ah, hindi naman, hindi naman. They're, they're just brown, ano, right? Nalamig lang siya. <laughs> Dude, I, JL, I think I think you're just oh, you're over analyzing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're taking it too serious. What if she starts saying your balls are too dark? Do you, do, you, you, do you suck on the nipple that frequently? I mean, do you, do you does she stimulate the nipple? Does she <laughs> does she play with the nipples um, regularly? Um, de, de naman. How about you? Do you suck on the nipple that that often? Because um, as as women grow older, the the nipples and the areola tends to get darker. All right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So Sam, not a big deal for you if if you had brown nipples, pink nipples, whatever. It doesn't matter. We we don't care. We we don't really care. I mean, <laughs> no, it, it, this, this, this this JL guy is just being an ass. Uh, <laughs> JL, you're being a prick, dude. That's your wife. No, yeah. um, of course we don't. Girls don't doesn't like dark nipples. Who does? Hello. Yeah, but if yeah. if you had dark nipples, would you go out and actually have a conscious effort to try to get it pinker, or you just kind of deal with it? Maybe, and maybe. All right, fair enough. Gan, is there anything he could take? Um, yeah, you, some would go to dermatologists or cosmetic surgeons. Some would give um, glutathione, but this would affect the whole the whole body. Um, darkening of a body part usually is um, related to friction. Playing with it too much. Yeah, friction. Oh. Playing with it too much and. Um, um, for females That's why I have the blackest penis I've seen in, in, in anyone ever <laughs> You're the one who said that That's okay. right, That's right. <laughs> okay for females um, This also gets affected when they get pregnant Okay Areola gets big Because the, the breast gets big And gets stretched out mm. And um, after breastfeeding It becomes smaller again So the stretch out distributed um, areola But once it goes be, dark It doesn't go back No Alright so okay oh. Alright I got you Thanks for the call jail Don't worry about it man <laughs> Or you want know send me a photo of it and I'll tell you if there's a problem. <laughs> Some would have right? um, would have tattooed um huh? yeah. Um, tattoo done on the nipples so it will be yeah, what, great. Yeah, do, do that and watch it lose sensitivity. But yeah. there you. like creams, aren't there aren't there, there are creams mm-hmm. too? Oh. All right. Thanks, JL. Bye bye. Okay, salamat. No worries. We got a bunch of calls here to go to as well. Sam, you're all right? You good? You having fun? Mm-hmm. All right. Just let me know if it's too much. It's interesting. <laughs> good. It's different. <laughs> Bang, you're 42. San Juan, what's up? Yep. What's going on, Bang? Uh, I'm not getting it on. <laughs> you're not getting on with your husband, huh? Yep. Yeah? Well, you're 42. Is this a, is this a problem because you guys are uh, been together too long? You, are you, have you lost your sex drive? Or what's the problem? I'm sick. What kind of sickness? Uh, I'm a renal patient. Mm-hmm. Kidney? Is okay. That, is that kidney? Yeah. 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 That's big time. So you're going uh, under. You're, you're undergoing dialysis. Yeah. Yep. How long? Uh, six years. Okay. All right, Gan. That that will fuck you up your sex life. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> uh, it changes the texture of the skin. You know, um, problem with immune system. So. And on top of that, I got hypertension. There. 
All right. So again, what can she do sexually? Obviously, she's physically there's physical limitations to this. What can she do to satisfy herself and her husband? First off, well, she can play with herself. Um, but then again, it's the psychological thing that affects her and her husband. Um, um, excuse physical, me, Doc. Physically, There's nothing psychologically wrong with us. <laughs> well, yeah, you sound like you're ready to go. You, your body, yeah. your, your, mind, your mind's telling you yes. It's your body that's telling you no. Um, when, when I talk about psychological, I don't mean you're crazy, okay? Uh -huh. um, there will be a psychological component, for example, with your husband, um, seeing you that way. And um, you know the, the the effect of the your condition on how he thinks. Bang! When's the last time you had sex? Yesterday. And how was it? Very satisfying. Okay, so what's the problem? Uh, we don't get it on as okay. much as we would like. To. Is it because of your health, or is it just because you guys are not doing it all the time? My health. Your health. And and, and how is it getting in the way? Um, when I have my treatment, I usually low back. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, and how... And um, most of the times, <coughs> my hypertension mm -hmm. gets in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will. Yeah, but you're the one complaining about it, right? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> when you find yourself complaining about your lack of sex, that should be your inspiration to go out and jump on your husband. Yeah. All yeah, maybe right? you, should, you should talk it to each other, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking... Um, on your on your husband's side, okay. Yes, so, I'm thinking about him also. He might think that if you if you have sex, you go to that um, you know strenuous activity, um, he might hurt you or you might you might feel hurt um, with the physical activity. So. No, I think for me it's it's mind over body. Uh, mind over, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mind over body. Yeah. yeah, yeah, mind over body. If you really want to, then hello. Yeah, but, but dialysis will, will, will rip you in half. Talk, though, to, your, right? talk to your husband. <laughs> you know, tell tell him what you want. All right, Chris, you're 29. You've been on hold 40 minutes. You're in Manila. What's up, Chris? Hello. Hello. Yes, Chris. Listen yes. to the phone, please. What's up? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, I have a question because, uh, well, um, I'm. Yeah, I'm 29, and uh, uh, I've been with my boyfriend for a long time now. And, uh, well, we have plans of getting married, but um, he hasn't formally proposed to me yet. Um, because it's like, uh, well, at one point, we, we kind of asked each other what are our future plans and all. Um, and then after that, uh, we decided to get married. But then, and now we're planning our marriage, our wedding. But then um, he hasn't proposed to me yet. Um, should I be wait? Should I be waiting for? A, no, I, I don't. Th I don't proposal? think he. I don't think he gets the picture. I think you have to tell him. Listen, I, I, as a woman, as a girl, gusto ko din, you know, kinikilig, all these things. How yeah. about before we start planning all of this, get me a ring. Doesn't have to be fancy. Let's just. I mean, it's every little girl's dream, right? To get proposed yeah. to in some sort of romantic uh, manner. The fact that you're already planning the wedding, you're happy that you guys are getting married, you're excited that it's going to happen, but let's just go ahead and put the icing on the cake. Go ahead and do the proposal. He'll gladly do it, no problem. The thing is, he's probably one of those guys that are just lazy who, who once you said, let's get married, and once you started planning, he thinks, oh, okay, she doesn't care about the ring. No, you tell him you mm -hmm. care about the ring, and he'll buy you one. Mm -hmm. But huh. um, what complicates things is that, uh, well, since we're working and we're, we're kind of old, um, well, not really that old, we decided to um, not ask our parents for money sure. for the wedding. So we're going to support it ourselves. So uh, well, we're a little bit tight on budget. And um, 
you know, we kind of, uh, well, I told him, well, because I got tired of waiting already. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I just got, I just told him that, uh, well, he can't, he can opt not to give me because, you know, we right. can just save Yeah, listen, the money. listen, there's cheap rings out there and, you know, and you can use that in the meantime. And then one day when you guys establish yourself, establish yourself financially down the road, you want to get married again. A lot of people mm-hmm. do that. You can go out and, and, and spend more on the wedding, spend more on the ring. You could, you could kind of like, a lot of people do that. Young people sometimes when, when they're struggling financially or they're just starting out financially, they don't have a grand wedding. All of a sudden they become millionaires and in their silver anniversary, they want to redo the vows, redo the wedding, redo everything everything in the, in the way they wanted to do it because they're more established financially. So don't worry about it. Get the ring. Get a cheap-ass ring at least so you can finally have something that, that's traditional because that's mm-hmm. what you're looking for. And then, you know, down the line, you can go ahead and spend more if you guys make more money. Mm-hmm. All right? Do you, do you think I could, like, take it back, what I said to him, what I told him? About what? About, like, being that, getting... It's okay not to give me... No, like, yeah, you can take it back. Money. You can take it back. It's fine. It's fine. It's just it's 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 sen- it's sentimental stuff. You know, it, don't worry about it. He'll be he'll be cool with that. All right. Okay. All Thank right. Because he's gonna complain a little, like, oh, we don't have enough money for this. Mm-hmm. But just go get me something cheap. I don't care if it's fucking a ring pop. Just get something. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Not no matter ring pop. You know but what then, I mean. Yeah, I get your right. point. Thanks. Okay. Thank right. you. No worries. Bye bye. Uh, let's see here, Christina. You're 24. What's up? Uh, hi. Hi. So what's so, up? No, I don't I know. You're the first, one calling. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So first of all, I just want to say hi to everyone there. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. So actually, I really don't have a question. It's just that I want to say hi to everyone. But since everyone... It would be nice ask, if you had a question. So, so please hurry up. Okay. Someone's in a hurry. Yes, we oh. are. Jesus. What do we want to okay, sit here and talk I'm about sorry, your life? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go. Okay. So anyway, would you check your, your partner's or boyfriend or girlfriend's Facebook? What do you mean would you check? Would you log on using his password or do you just look at the photos that are there? No, would you log in in his account and Sam, check? Sam, 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 let's be realistic. Let's be honest. You girls, if you, had my, if you, you and I were together and you had my password, you're logging in, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? How often? Mm, no, not that often. it's actually my, my boyfriend not. actually gave his password. Me, so. that, that shows a lot of confidence. So there's, it also shows that there's probably nothing for you yeah, to worry about. Yeah, exactly. If, 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 if for me, if I trust him, why would I? Yeah, but if you had problem to check, so yeah. But even if you trust him, uh, Sam, if you have a password to an email or to anything, you'll check anyway, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, because it's tempting. It is yeah, tempting. Very, and why would you give me your password in the first place? The he, fact that he gave you the, the password yeah, shows a lot of password. confidence in you. All right, so or that, at least so a, a lot I of think conf- it's sort of a Celosa thing because, I mean, most of his, some of his friends in in his Facebook are actually his ex. All right. Oh. So sometimes I do you see check him out like on a Facebook <laughs> chat, so talking to some of his ex. So it's probably that. All right, yeah. but that's it. He gave you the history or something. He gave you his password already, so that yeah. means it's okay for him is for it, you to check. Yeah. Is it okay to check your boyfriend's pass, uh, uh, Facebook? Yes, if you have the password. No, if you're going to hack into it. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, doll. Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. Ciao. 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 Mm. Boy, was she irritating. <laughs> oh, she's still there. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Justina. I heard that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did. Yeah. I, uh, this is Mo Dr. Gan here, Sam Pinto. The Hello. Beautiful Hello. Sam. She's the uh, new endorser of Sam McLight. We'll talk more about that project after this commercial break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659 6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by Sam McLight and powered by Smart Bro. Pwede ba ako mag-model? Pwede. pwede. Yun ang pwede. Uy, si Sam Pinto. Pwede nga! Uy, San Miglight. Pwede. Low-calorie San Miglight. Magaan sa chan. Para kung maba ang inuman. Pwede maki-join friends ko? Pwede. Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good, 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 good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Pro. Call the show, 659-6969. 659 My girlfriend says she hates me. Uh-huh. 
It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Sandmade Light and powered by Smart Pro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast, the Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night, February 2th. If you're tuned in right now, it's uh, New Year's Eve for the Chinese. A lot of parties going on right now, and we got one right here tonight. Sam Pinto, thanks for being here, Sam. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on the new endorsement the new yeah. kind of chapter in your career here being the face and the body yeah. <laughs> of Sad Mick Light what does Sad Mick Light have in store for you as well this 2011 or actually for all of us here for all of you guys actually we have a lot going on this year we have Bucket Nights which is happening in bars nationwide yeah. and of course we have the 2011 Party All Night event which is happening sometime in June so watch out for that because yep. Sad Mick Light will be We'll be cooking something really big and unique for this year. All right. All right. And uh, what was it like? I mean, how much has your life changed now that you're, uh, the, you know, the body of San Miguel? <laughs> you know, not not that much. Yeah. For, as of now, because it's still kind of early, right? Yeah, cause yeah. The TVC just came out yesterday, so parang wala pa, wala lang pa. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of the, TV, uh, the the TVC though, what was that like shooting it? Because man, you are uh, walking around in a pool. Yeah. yeah. Sexy. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. You guys like? Yes. <laughs> That's we, the point. <laughs> we, we like it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, was that was that a good experience? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, the shoot went actually pretty fast for a TVC. Yeah. Because um, we were catching the daylight effect, so. Is uh you do you hit the beach a lot? Are you is, is that something you do a lot? As much as possible. I, when I can, I will go. Yeah, yeah, good. Just let us know when. No, all right. We would like to walk. <laughs> you. Watch you, watch you just stand there. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Sam Pinto is here on the show six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. Speaking of bikinis, we have a bikini girl who wow. is uh, answering the uh, Skype calls. So you can go ahead and call us all around the world. It's good times with Mo podcast. Get your questions in uh, via her. But let's get back to the phones here. Sam Pinto uh, on the program. Just making San Miguel Light so much sexier. So thank you, San Miguel Light, for making this podcast possible as well, as, as <laughs> it is also powered by Smart Bro. All right, let's go to uh, Miko, who's on a cell phone. You're 34 and no longer on a cell phone. Bye. Call back, Miko. Sorry about that. Uh, let us go to... Uh, let's go to Antonio. You're 25. And you're in Ortigas. You've been on hold for about half an hour. What's up? Hi. Antonio. Hello. Yeah, Antonio. Good evening. Go. What do you got? Uh, I have I have a question. Sure. Uh, my my about my you know, semen color it turned white as in white like lotion. Your semen color has turned white. Yeah. Wait, what was the color before? Um, like um, uh, some transparent something like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. I like my partner's semen. Right. Curious. He's so concerned about it. Okay, yeah, go. Again, again, super white semen. I thought I thought most semen was just really white. Yeah, um, it can be yellowish, it can be white, it can be transparent. Depends on how often you you masturbate and ejaculate. No, it's, so it's always white. Yeah, well, yeah. then you're fine. Cause that, means it, that means you're consistently white spe- uh, sperm. Yeah. You're fine. It's yellowish. It ye- it's yellowish when you don't ejaculate that much. It's whitish normally. And then it becomes a little bit transparent if you if the frequency of ejaculation is increased. Yeah, it's transparent. Oh, okay. All right, here, baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. For, thanks for the call, Antonio. <laughs> oh, bye. Uh, let us go to the guy who's been on hold the longest, Jason, thirty-two, Malabon. What's up? Uh, hello. Good evening. What do you got? Um, good evening, everyone. Congratulations on your podcast, Mo. Thanks. Appreciate it. What's up? Uh, my question is, I have this ex-girlfriend who continues to talk shit about me. Uh-oh. Mm. All right. Um, I've seen everything about me, like having an affair aside from my wife. Okay. Uh, honestly, I can deal with that. But the problem is my wife is pregnant and she's beginning to get affected about it. Mm. All right. So, uh, what's the question? Uh, how can I deal with her, my ex-girlfriend? All right. Sam. There's a lot of sh- there's a lot of shit talking that goes on when, uh, during a breakup and stuff like that. Have you been on this side where you go you went out with a guy and then the girl just continues to just try to either fuck up your relationship or just try to fuck up the reputation of your of your mm-hmm. boyfriend? Have you had this happen to you? No. No, you <laughs> have No, oh, no, not yet. Really? No, I, I, I don't want like, that. <laughs> no, but I, th- I thought this is like typical girl drama. Really? Yeah, like you know, like there's 
It's happened to me countless times. Oh. All you got to do, you, you just, listen, you got to approach your ex-girlfriend. Yeah, you got to you gotta tell her, listen, if you start talking, sh- you continue to talk shit about me, I will bring out, the, I will open the dirty closet about you, and it's going to get dirty. Like, whatever you do to me, I'm going to do worse times three. And you don't want that. Okay. All right, I, I'm married, we're, we're, we're moved on, my wife is pregnant, I'm uh-huh. telling you right now, I'm being diplomatic for the very last time. Uh-huh. Stop it. Or we're, gonna, or we're gonna get dirty. You know how people go, don't go down to their level? I'm gonna fucking come down to the level and it's gonna be ugly. Uh, I've done that before, but oh. she continues to do everything that... Do you got a sex tape? Uh, <laughs> well, I, you should always you got, have a sex yeah, tape. Yeah, you always, always have a sex tape. Always. Sex always tape. should have. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Never you, forget you, the yeah. sex tape. You got nudie pictures of her? Yeah. You do? Oh, there, there. you go. Touchdown. Hey, listen. Remember those stupid pictures you took? <laughs> Guess what? I got them, right? Uh-huh. I will fucking put that everywhere. You have to stop doing this. This is my last warning. Okay. All right? Sorry, it has to be done. Guys, mm-hmm. I mean, uh-huh. I don't want to sound like a prick or anything, but the girls, they moved on. She's the only one who hasn't. He's yeah. got a pregnant wife. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, you're just going to have to use all the bullets in your chamber. Yeah. And, and, you know, she, uh-huh. she was stupid enough to take a nudie photo with you. That There are consequences for that kind of dumb behavior. And uh-huh. now you, it could be used against her. Use the next best thing. Now, you, you have, have to be telling the truth here because next thing you know, you're the asshole and then we're telling you bad advice. But we're going we're gonna to trust you with your story yeah. if it's true then you know you're gonna have to use everything you got cause I mean okay. you, have, you have a pregnant wife here mm-hmm. I don't wanna say it might affect the health of your child but it'll yeah. definitely affect the stress of your wife alright okay alright buddy thanks Mo no worries bye bye fine I'm sure our Philippine Sex senators day. who are not gonna be very happy with that advice mm-hmm. by the way Pia Cayetano on the program tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> really? I hope she doesn't get any questions about that. Because I will stay. I will stand by my ground. I'll stand my ground. I'm like, P. I'm sorry, but you have to. Sp-. She's gonna get mad. Oh. And she's a senator. Oh. Uh, let's go to. Um, let's go to Peter. You're 42. Name, Milk, yeah. Peter. Yes. What's up? Oh, I would just like to have a question. Go. I raised because uh, I have a friend. some basis because most of the 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 sperm that gets through are female sperms or okay. the ones that has um x sperms okay the x chromosomes i thought they're all the same it just gets then decided when already fertilized no no okay, the one that's fertilization the ones when no, no 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 like for example you ejaculate inside your girlfriend mm-hmm. the, the the army comes there looking for the egg they're all the same sex it, once for once you fertilize once you meet once you hook up and they start Whatever they do when they when they're together, then the sex will eventually be decided, and it's not in the sperm. It's it's in this. You have um, an X and a Y sperm. So if the X the X sperms all, always gets through, that's why most of the time you get um, the eldest as a female, and then it's very hard to make ma- boy uh, boy kids. Um, Hmm. It, just like when you become adults or human beings, it's always the females that are stronger than the males. In terms of numbers? Yeah. Okay. All right. So how do you... Uh, what about... Okay. Position-wise, position-wise, position anything that can um, push the sperm farther into the, the fallopian tube or into the uterus, it's better... Um, has a higher chance of having a boy sperm rather than um, a female sperm. You're full of shit, Doc. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, I I heard that the uh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard that the the, the male sperm uh, has a, a better chance if uh, it goes in early, uh, but uh, it dies sooner. 
random females. So that's what I'm t- talking about. The 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 female sperms has a strong um, is stronger than the male sperms. So that's why um, it's very hard for these sperms to penetrate the the whole um, reproductive tract. It's because they, they encounter a lot of. Um, what about the gay sperm? Huh? They must be strong here in Manila because there's so many. <laughs> they really like to go to the mall. All right, just, just kidding. All right. Hey, listen. Uh, what, what's your name? Peter. Yeah. Peter, listen, buddy. Deeper penetration, male. Duh, okay. That's horseshit. Yeah. Cause, cause you help them get through the all the barriers, the mucus. The so, 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 the, so me and my small penis guarantees me a ton of females. Yeah, you. This is definitely. Crap. I don't have a small oh. penis. I'm just kidding. All right, thanks for the call. So that's the basics. Thank you. Again, I'm going to look for literature that says that that's crap. Go. That is crap. Go. Deeper penetration yeah. equals males. Mm-hmm. What? Go. There are Chinese. There are Chinese myths that says that's depends on the the moon, the position of the moon, and everything. That that's I, as crazy. As that I don't theory. have any basis, but the position, the deeper you are, the chances of you getting a male or a boy is is higher than you know. So, a uh, family of all females. This guy must be weak. Mm, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. This is that's why. That's why you, you um try to try to 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 see if um families that has. Kids that are women's are elders. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, okay. I'm lost. Go. This is not, that can't be true. Anyway, we'll Fuck. move on. We'll move on. We'll Go. move on. Uh, Alan, you're 25. What's up? Oh, hi. What's going on? Okay. Uh, I, have, I have a question. And yeah, um, my girlfriend and I broke up for like five, three to four months ago. Yeah. And yeah, she left me for a richer guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first, she told me that she she will left me because she needs time, space, all that crap. Yeah. But her cousins told me that she's dating some few older but richer guys. Sure, sure. What's the question now? Yeah. Do I need to get revenge on her? And no, what? no, Dick. Look, she <laughs> left you because you suck. And now, whether that be financially or attitude or whatever, that's just what you have to do. Listen, just because I'm pro revenge doesn't mean that all of you guys have a free revenge pass. Okay, you got dumped because you're short in somewhere, whether it be in money, personality, sexual ability. Uh, it could be any fat. You could be ugly. You have bad haircut. You could have any reason why she breaks up with you. That's no problem. Did she cheat on you? That's a different story if she broke up with you legit then there's no revenge or, dude or dude at least uh how do i get my confidence up again all right sam help help him please you're mm-hmm. you're you're the smoking hot girl uh the guy got left for a rich dude i mean oh it's an attractive quality being wealthy right right yeah so how does he get over it get more money well no just get over the girl <laughs> you don't need money. Yeah, but, but yeah, I bet you deserve a better girl. Hello. Yeah, okay, f- f- fine. Uh, that, okay, well, Sam, I don't know if I agree. Well, uh, two things. I agree with you, yes, that she's shallow, maybe. But B, aren't most girls kind of attracted to wealth anyway? Which is kind of true, yeah. Yeah, so, like... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwed. Yeah, so, Alan, why don't you just start... Making getting, money. Yeah, start getting better in yourself. You get, you, you start getting uh, more confidence there. Mm-hmm. One factor of being an alpha male. All right? Being able to provide. Okay. All right, Alan? Mm. Chicks like rich dudes, man. That's the way it is. How many How many rich guys do you know out there who has uh, ugly-ass rich guys with super smoking hot girls? Oh, I, do, I do know one. Yeah, of course, we know a plenty. We know plenty of people who are like that. That's the way yeah. it is. Chicks, uh, I, I would like to marry rich if I could. Because, uh, by the way, um, cause we're, we're long-time friends. Like, we've been friends since college, so Alan, I don't, it doesn't didn't matter. really know why... No, oh, you know why, it, Alan. You're you might in her eyes you might be a little bit of a loser. All right, now go. Oh, now go. Dude, uh, I uh, I'm not that poor. I know, Alan. It doesn't matter. There's a reason she broke up Maybe with you. Maybe it's not you, about you, money. Yeah, you just have to deal with it. All right. Mm, okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah, and Sam's right. It, may, it might not be about money. money Maybe yeah. that's the only thing you're looking at because it's the one thing that's obviously better about him it, than you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's you. Thank you, Sam, for pointing that out. Twenty two, Camille. You're on a cell phone. What's up? Yes. Hi, Mo. Good evening. Yeah, what's going on? Sam Pinto's here. Dr. Gan, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, guys, everybody. Um, what's up? Advice lang po sana. Yeah, go. Quickly. Yeah, kasi um, my boyfriend and I just broke up this night. 
You, you and, and your, your boyfriend, boyfriend just broke up this evening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found out na may naging siya ibang girl. All right. Then we've been together for four years. Yeah. So, so I, I, I will just ask kung ano yung dapat kung gawin ah. Another revenge call. <laughs> this is turning into a revenge show. <laughs> Let's go to Sam. Sam, if mm-hmm. your boyfriend broke up with you tonight, mm-hmm. is what this girl happened, uh, and because she got he got someone else pregnant, what's the first thing you want to do in a situation like this? you tonight and this is going to take a long time for you to get over i mean it might it might take a year to get over this but you know it, it's yeah. confirmation that he's an asshole yeah. and that uh that might be something that you know you're going to use as inspiration to get over this i mean it's not like you guys broke up because you have uh, you had uh you were fighting about little things which which can always be fixed you broke you guys broke up because he got another girl pregnant yeah, that's not a kind of guy you want to be with exactly yeah but um, sakit lang mo Um, kasi um, four years naging kami din parang oh. biglang may iba na lang siya yeah and, and, and it, it does suck but I would say that if I was gonna get broken up with I don't want to say I want to get cheated on because it would hurt the most but it's the best revelation you get what I mean yeah yeah it's, it's the best way to confirm that there was it was not really you that he was an asshole Because because if it's one of those breakups where you don't know what's going on, you don't know where the, if the, the the relationship is malabo, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna think about it all the time, going, could we have done this? Could we have done that? But this guy got another girl pregnant. It's a super asshole move, and it's just the best way for you to get over it because now you realize that he's a he's a douchebag. So not worth na magrevenge na lang ako. So move on na lang kaya ng ganon. Um, nature useless yung revenge. I. I don't know. Like, I, I, I can't. I have to be consistent. I would get revenge, Sam. I like that. Really? that would, yeah, that would be me. How, how, how can you help me? I, I don't want to give any more advice on revenge because it takes up too much time of our sh- <laughs> with our show. Email me. Oh, yeah. Email okay. me. Give me, give me. Let me know how much you're hurting. What the scenario was, and I'll go ahead and cook something up for you. I promise. We, we just wow. can't do it on the show on air every night. We we take too many of these calls, and all of you guys want revenge ideas. And then I think I'm ruining society because of my stance here. You should make another podcast for that. Yeah, thing. exactly. I should have podcast. just a revenge podcast yeah. alone. <laughs> we, we, we'll be taking calls all night long. All right. Okay. All right, Camille. Thanks. Wait, can I say hi? Yeah. All right. Hi to Alexis. He's online at San Miguel Light Bucket Room in the San Miguel Light website. Hello, everyone. So you're chatting on the on the uh, San Miguel Light uh, website? Yeah, I think I am. How do we get on there? San Miguel Light right? Yep. There's a bucket room. There's a bucket room. Bucket room. Yes, yeah, sweet. And then yeah. you're chatting there. Mm-hmm. You know who wants to say hi to you? Casey Montero. He was Ooh. here. He was here a couple nights ago. Yeah. Um. What's it? He was here on Monday. He said he got your number, um, <laughs> on a uh, party Pilipinas, I think. And he was uh he was meaning to give you a call and ask you out. Oh really? Yeah. But he just wanted to tell me to tell you that you're pretty tonight. <laughs> all yeah. right. Thank you, like you very him? much. He's all right. You think you could date him? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Another podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Mars, you're 27. You're on a cell phone. What's up? Yeah. Um. Uh, question. Um. Do a workaholic person get to have a special girl in his life? Do does a workaholic person what? Get what? I'm uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Does a workaholic person what? Uh. Get to have a girl in his life. Definitely. Yeah. There's a lot of workaholic people who have girlfriends. Yeah. But oh, okay. Is there anything? I mean, what are you talking about in terms of hours spent? It's going to be a challenge because. Shepard, relationships take time, it takes effort, it takes uh, togetherness, communication, experiences. If you don't have any of those things because you're working, you'll have a harder time, but it's not impossible. 
Ah, okay. Because um because uh just want to have uh, a tip on how you know how to what? Because, uh because I 7 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. I'm already in office and leaving at 10 p.m. So you know, it might not be your workaholic thing. It might be that yep. you have very little personality, Mars. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, look, look at you. You're you're not very confident in what mm-hmm. you want to do. You're you're just you're hesitant in everything. And girls are not going to find that attractive. You need to be. I mean, look at the way I talk. I'm not saying that I'm I'm a, <laughs> girls will like me or anything, but I, there's not a lot of like indecisiveness in what I'm trying to tell you. Maybe it's experience doing this job, but you sound hesitant all the time. Mars, you just I mean, come on. Like, if you want to meet girls and you want tips, it starts with being able to carry a conversation and being confident about it. You sound like you're just kind of detached, a little antisocial, maybe an introvert, and it's going to make it a more of a challenge for you to meet and date girls. Exactly. Even if you work from seven to ten, you st- you can still meet girls during your work hours. That's right. At work, look at Gan. Gan's a doctor. They pull in twelve-hour shifts, but a lot of them are in relationships. A lot of yeah. them have relationships in medical school, which mm-hmm. takes up a crazy amount of time. Exactly. So you just have to find time. And also, you don't have to be good looking. I mean, sometimes girls fall for guys who are very confident. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Right? Confidence is a big yeah. factor. Very, yeah. very big factor. All right. Come on. So, so practice on that. Your, your communication skills. It goes far, far. Uh, it goes further with a female than you know, Sabini Sam. Like looks. And of course, it's, it's always nice to be good looking. But, you know, wow them in, in other ways. All right? All right, yeah. right Mars. Bye bye. Let's go to Los Angeles, uh, California. We have Trixie here. Trixie, what's up? Hi. Um, I have a question because sure. my husband and I are celebrating our anniversary next week. Mm-hmm. Um, we already have our hotel and dinner reservation in a fine dining restaurant. Sure. But the problem is, um, I just got laid off. Yeah. So I'm not sure if 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 it's still okay to proceed with our celebration or just be practical, na lang muna, and then celebrate later on if our financials are okay na. Well, yeah, you can always lessen the the, the standard of what you're gonna have for dinner. Like, where where what uh, what restaurant are you guys gonna be eating at? <laughs> Um, it's I can't tell the name of the restaurant, but it's on the top of a hill restaurant and it's fine dining and mm-hmm. it's really um I don't know the name of the restaurant. You don't know the name of the restaurant. You don't know the name of the restaurant. No, I know the name of the restaurant, but I don't like to mention it. Why? It's in California. We're in the Philippines. Yes. Like we're supposed to know. Just tell me the name. Because I need to um, know. Orange how... Hill. Huh? Orange Hill. So what are you looking at? Uh fifty dollars per head? Something like that? Um Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen. You can, where do you live? Where in California? Um, LA. Okay, LA. There's a lot of restaurants in the LA area that uh, you can go for twenty, thirty dollars per person that are excellent. Um, just to name a few, you can do a PF mm-hmm. Chang's, which is fine. Uh, you can go to Cheesecake Factory, which you'll see there in Glendale. There's a couple in. Um, there's one in Beverly Hills. There's one in uh, Orange County. All of those places mm-hmm. will, will cost you twenty to twenty-five dollars per person for a fifty-dollar per head thing, and it's really nice. I mean, it's not fine dining, but it's definitely something you guys can have a lot of fun with. The the atmosphere mm-hmm. is pretty hip, and it's definitely a place you can go for Valentine's. And okay, they'll, so they'll, you they'll, think they'll that would be fine to celebrate our anniversary and Valentine's as well? Absolutely, yeah, because course. you guys were still you're still going to have a good time. Those are really mm-hmm. good restaurants. They're not fine mm-hmm. dining. They're not Nobu uh, over there, but. You know, it's still enough for you to enjoy, and then maybe next year you can go get go do your Nobu. Yeah, it's how you ma- it's how yeah. you make the location um, special. Special, and it doesn't have it's to be deal. expensive. Yeah, it doesn't have to be expensive. It's, it's, the important thing is you guys are like happy together. It doesn't really you don't need money to be happy. Yeah, where, where in Los Angeles? Uh, where whereabouts? It's a big city. Huh? What is it? Whereabouts in Los Angeles? Our location. Yeah. What suburb? Um, um, somewhere near in Carson. Carson, yeah, you know, listen, uh-huh. you go to Westwood. There, there are nice restaurants there. Not nothing too. It's not very far from where you're at. Um, you, you're gonna be fine. P.F. Chang's is good. Cheesecake Factory's fine. These kind, they're kind of like uh, franchise nice restaurants. If you even want to go like freaking Red Lobster, if you want, but that's kind of weak for a, for a, for a wedding uh, anniversary. I but, know. but you know, what I mean, those other ones will, will be ideal. And then next year, spend a little bit more. All right. All right. All right, Kate. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Thank you so much. No okay. worries, love. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's uh, take uh, next call. Jay is 26. You have a question. You've been on hold for about uh, half an hour. What's up? Jay. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. What's going on? 
Yes, uh, hihingi lang po ako ng payo regarding dun sa problema na yung mag-asawa. Fire away. Um, nagsiselos kasi siya dun sa hobby ko eh. Uh, I used to modify uh, underbone motorcycle. All right. Oh, and uh, dun sa ginagawa ko, so nagsiselos siya dun sa motor ko. Mas marami pa raw yung time na ini-spend ko dun kaysa dun sa, sa amin dalawa. Yeah, and and she she she's not interested in it. What if she spends more time on like uh, knitting blankets than with you? You're gonna be pissed off as well. What if you spend more time on video games, which is a lot of other, another question we get here. She's gonna get pissed off. You have to really make sure that your family comes first and your hobbies, or make sure she gets into another hobby before you start doing yours. Mm. I mean, don't be selfish about it. Um. Hindi naman ganun ah. Bali kasi yun, sineservice namin yung pinangsusundo ko sa kanya. Then, uh, ang pinaka-hobby doon is banding namin with my friends. Uh, sineset up namin yun din pag lumalabas kami nag-out of town. So, pag sinusundo ko siya, syempre gusto ko maganda rin yung ng bike ko. Eh, malinis na malinis. Saka kapag park, malinis ko agad. Uh, doon sa pagiging sensitive ko doon sa... How many hours? How many hours a week are you spending on this bike? Uh, Kada ginamit, pupunasan agad before gamitin, dapat uh, malinis. So, so ano, how many hours a week are you spending on it? Uh, maybe, siguro sa isang araw, two hours. And you're working eight hours, and you take another three hours for transportation, so you're like at 11, 15, 15 hours of your day spent here. You're going to sleep eight hours, that keeps it at 23, so you have one hour to spend with your wife. That blows. Wow. All right? Oh. So keep it keep it just for the weekends. Yeah. Um, bakit naman yung mga babae naman pag uh, yung mga masyado rin naman sila sa mga gamit talaga ay ng mga bags and uh, they're just bags. Hindi yeah, naman sila nag-spend time na katabi yung bags, pupunasan yung bags. Yeah. They love the bags, they want to carry it, but they you know, We they still really... they don't they don't spend time um, looking at those or taking care of the bags every day, yes. right? Mm. Two hours a day is a little is it a little mm. much, much, all right? Yeah. Or if you want, fuck around with it when she's sleeping. But when she's yeah. awake, mm. you know, you want to save this marriage, you're gonna be fine, all right? Do that. Okay. Mo na lang siya, yeah. Kuya. Yes. Oh, uh, pwede magtanong Sam? Yo, what's up? Uh, yung isabang magandang babae kagaya mo ay nagmasturbate din. She, we, we already answered that. We talked that. about that shit. kanina. Jay. Hindi uh, ka nakikinig kanina, no? Jay, punasan hey. mo na lang yung motor mo. Oo. <laughs> Doon ka na lang, kuya. Yeah, right, thanks for the call. Okay. Bye. All right, let's uh, take another break here. Sam Pinto on the show. All Sam, right. she's the new face of uh, San Mig Light. We'll talk again more about that project and the other things that she's into right after this commercial break. Don't go away. All right. Stay tuned. T- t- we'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, pwede ba akong mag-model? Pwede. pwede. Yun ang pwede. Uy, si Sam Pinto. Pwede nga. Uy, San Meg Light. Pwede. Low calorie San Mig Light. Magaan sa chan. Para kung maba ang inuman. Pwede makijoin friends ko. Pwede. Pwede. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. Aww. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. And powered by Smart Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is the podcast, of course, being brought to you by San Mig Light. And their newest endorser is here on the show. Her name is Sam Pinto. Thanks, Sam, for being here. Hi, thanks for having me here. We're also powered by Smart Bro. I want to thank uh, Nothing But Water. Their website is nothing but h2o.com.ph Is this for the bikinis for our bikini girl? Sweet. Yeah. Uh, you can catch her on Skype. Good times with Mo Podcast. She's wearing a bikini. She'll even video chat with you. It's awesome. Phone number 659-6969. The lines are full. So we'll get to them in just a little bit. But uh, if you want to chat with uh, Sam Pinto here, she's on the uh, San Mig Light website. It's sanmiglight.com.ph, the bucket room, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and there um, are a lot of guys there now. Hi to Dom, JJ, John, Kevin... Katipunero, they're all in the San Miguel Light bucket room. All right, Sam, what else do you do from, of course, obviously you're an actress. I know uh, you're starting Barbell, is that right? Yeah. Have you started already? Not yet, but what? they have already. And what are you going to do? You're going to play love interest or? 
I'm gonna bad be, person or what do you, no, I'm gonna be a superhero. Superhero? Yeah. All right, cool. But I'm they, a good superhero. You, know, you were you were also uh, you played? Did you play a superhero in the, uh, in December in a movie? Oh, um, I was not really a superhero. I was like a warrior. Sweet. Do you kick ass? Like I mean, do you like you yeah, get, you, I do you, like, you box and <laughs> no. shit like that? What do you do? Oh, in real life yeah, or in the yeah. movie? No, in real life, generally. Real are you life? athletic? Not really. Yeah, actually, I'm a Sagittarian, so I like sports and stuff like that. What's your number one sport? Right now, it's swimming. Oh, wow. Yeah. You got to invite us to that, too. <laughs> Surely, why not? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, Sam uh, Pinto is here. She is um, going to be everywhere. Uh, I guess if you're watching television, you listen to the radio, whatever, you're going to hear her on a San Miglite promoting that wonderful, wonderful beer. Mm-hmm. So they made a good choice in you, Sam. Thank Just you very much. Yeah, no Thank worries. you, San Miglite. <laughs> All right, let's get to uh, some phone calls here. Leo, you're 19. What's up? Sorry, Leo, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, good evening, guys. Good evening, Mo, Sam, Hi. and Doc. Hi. Yeah, um, just a question, right? For Doc? Sure, go. Um, Doc, um, what what do you think about um, like sex after working out? Like, is it good? Is it bad? Or working out? Yeah, yeah you go to the right. gym and then you have sex afterwards. Yeah, I mean, of course. Well, I mean, testosterone personally, levels, like, okay, but l- let's be realistic. Most guys, and I, I'm guilty of this as well. If we know we're gonna have sex, we go to the bathroom and we do push-ups. And we do okay. sit-ups because we want to look awesome naked. Like we've done that at our young age. I don't do that anymore, by the way, because I'm, I'm more mature. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take, take me as I am fat guy now. But back when I was you know, in my early 20s, Leo, when I was 19 at your age, if I knew I was going to have sex, I'm fucking going to the bathroom and I'm going to do 40 push-ups. Then I'm going to do 100 sit-ups. And I'm going to like run in place just to get my heart rate up and everything working uh-huh. so I look I don't, I'm not saying I look awesome but at least you I feel. can look better mm-hmm. when I take my clothes off yeah. so yeah. that's a mini workout on its own I was fine Gan it doesn't seem like there would be a problem no problem yeah but um, doc like of course if you work out regularly and like after, after working out you feel the urge right to let one go off so w- would you recommend um, one Letting one go off, or just you know, there's no difference between that and sex. What are you talking about? Is there is there a problem with ejaculating after your workout? Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, like is there a problem with the recovery from muscle recovery or oh. anything like that? Nothing. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Leo, you're fine. How many? Yeah. What, what, what are you like? Some sort of workout beast? Oh, I mean, what's uh, going I'm on? Just making sure, you know. Yeah, no, I got you. But I mean, like, how much are you working out that it's actually giving you some sort of concern? Um, not no, not not that much concern, but you know. Every day, do you work? No, out I work day? out about three times a week. Oh, oh. You're fine. Leo, you're fine. It's okay. It's okay. Fine, Leo, you, you're fine. no problem with it. Yeah. Go, yeah. rock on, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Whew, okay, yeah. thank Look you. Up. Thanks, brother. No worries. Okay. Let's go to Rose. Rose, you're 33. What's uh, what's going on? Yeah. Hello. Hi. What's up? Um, I'm I'm 33 and still baby as a virgin. You're what? A virgin. I'm 33 and still baby. Baby? I'm still a virgin. Still mm-hmm. a virgin, all right. Mm. Yeah. I've never done any of the sexual stuff, master beat finger and all. Mm. It's really tight down there. Now, in, yeah. my, in my point of life, <laughs> I don't want to do it. And found a guy seems great and experienced. But when we try to do it, he can't penetrate. We tried lubrication, foreplay, and finger, fingering, but mm-hmm. still dry as Sahara. So well, what else um, can I do? Ro- so you're saying you tried having sex. When was this? Mm, last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So this was the first time you were about to have sex and the penis couldn't get in. Yeah. Where, where were you at in terms of your mind? Were you Because if you have an anxiety attack or if you're not ready or if this is your first time, your, your, your worries are there, your mind's racing, and then you can no, have... No, I, I think I'm ready. You think Are you sure? Age. Because because the the vagina tends to you know we we've That's heard this true. term yeah we've heard this term uh, thrown out in the uh, in the showbiz the past couple months vaginal uh, lock uh, where where the vaginismus kicks in again right yeah uh-huh. and and that that is all anxiety based anxiety. Yeah? Uh-huh. yeah so if your if your head's not there if you're not completely ready your vagina will close down and and penis will not get in. Here's what even, he, even even if he tries fingering me and then well um, did he try fingering you and did that go in? Um, only the half of his finger does yeah, go in. Anxiety, love. Yeah, you're you're not yeah. ready. Your your body's telling you you're not ready to have sex. Have you even tr- though you're fucking thirty three? Yeah. Have you tried doing it yourself? Uh, no. In a relaxed environment. Uh, to Rose, try Rose, Rose, try Rose, Rose, Rose. Try before it. you have sex, you have to know your body before yeah. you let someone else find out 
or teach. Don't let someone else teach you about your body before you do. All right. All right. Yeah. And that goes for all you girls. I mean, you guys need to masturbate before you have sex because you have to know what you can do, what you can't do. You have to know your body have before be comfortable in your before body. you let some dork uh, go ahead and try to learn about it for yourself. All right. All right. Thanks. So Rose, you can try again. Right, uh-huh. explore but, yourself. But but you go, you do yourself first for the for the next week mm-hmm. and a half to two weeks, and then give it a shot two weeks from now, okay? And then you call us back and let us know how it worked out. All right, thanks. all right. Was it a massive penis though for the first time you've seen one? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's ugly, isn't it? The big one. <laughs> yeah. Do they think no that the first time will always hurt? Will always, you know. Even if you're uh, 33. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Even if you're it saggy. Will. It shiny. will. It will. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Thanks for the call. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, let's go to uh, Mrs. Fields. You're Mrs. 26. Fields. What's up? Hello? 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 Yes, hi, dear. What's up? Hi, is this Mo? Yes, already? it is. Yes, it is. What's going on? Wow, hello. This is Mrs. <laughs> Fields. I don't know if you still remember me. I visited your station before. Yeah, right, right. You're the, uh, you're the half-breed. You're like half uh, Yeah, American I'm like the ugliest and um, fattest version of copter. Of a, of a helicopter. No, you're you're good looking. Don't worry about oh, it. What's thank up? Thank you. I love you, Mo. Sure. Um, yeah, I was just calling. I um, my questions. My question is actually a little more wholesome than the other ones. Okay. But before that, I just want to share with you that just now I saw on Yahoo News in uh, Yahoo News Philippines there is a grammar fail. I thought you just might be interested with that with your type. That's yeah. it. Yeah, there was a grammar fail like in the Miriam Santiago News. No, but that, um, you're calling me because on Yahoo.com... No, I just com, wanted to th- share you that, but I have another question. Okay, let's go to the question. Go. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No worries. Okay, um, I just want to ask, because uh, my partner and I, we've been together for five years, and we're pretty okay, but tonight, um, I've been calling him for five hours already. At first, he wasn't answering, and then now the phone's out of coverage. Do you think by the time he gets back, should I get mad? Or well, it depends. Where was he supposed to go? Um, in his shop, he's an artist, so he's just supposed to be there. So his phone should be, um, the coverage should not have any problems while he's there. Okay, we, we, you know, females have this thing called intuition, and intuition tells you whether you feel like your boyfriend or your husband is cheating on you. And if you feel that, you can go ahead and almost assume that it's true. From there, you just have to confirm. So, do so you think your do you think your husband's no? It's not overacting because. I can't tell you what your relationship is like. I can't tell yeah. you if he's ever dropped any clues that may make you wonder if he's cheating or not. You're going to use your own intuition. Now, some of you girls are a little crazy and you overdo it, but nevertheless, there's a reason mm-hmm. why something like that exists. Do you think he's cheating on you? Uh, sometimes I feel that, but I'm not sure because I don't want to ask all the time because I don't want to be branded a nagger. Okay, then, then do it quietly. Go out and look. Look for clues. Look for things to, like... Right now, yeah, tonight. I did that. I, I, I can't find any, but I still feel something. Oh. Well, hmm. How often does this happen where his phone is uh, not able to be reached? Look, because um, um, he's in his shop until around 1 or 2 a.m. Because um, he's a tattoo artist. So, so most visit, of the time. Him, visit him in the shop. Mm-hmm. Surprise I, him. I can't because... Because my kids are with me. Yeah, but um, le- leave them with someone. Your your mom. Just wa- plan it out. The most the most worried you are. Go ahead and mm-hmm. and, and and plan a surprise visit. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow night if this happens again. Because now I just can't. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, wait, doesn't the shop have a landline? No, they don't. Oh. They yeah. don't. They don't have it yet because they just opened recently, just this month. How about friends? Doesn't ha- doesn't he have like? Other tattoo I, um, friends? The friend who's with him right now, mm-hmm. he doesn't like me. And I don't okay. like him. Why don't you so? get one of your girlfriends <laughs> to drop by the tattoo mm-hmm. shop and say, oh, by the way, what's her face is trying to call you? I just happened to be in the area. I wanted to tell you. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I- I'll right, do you, that. Got, you got 40 minutes before he closes shop. Yeah. So make sure he's there. <laughs> Thanks, okay. though. Appreciate it. All right, thank All right. you, Mo. No worries. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, phone, full phone lines here, so let's keep it going. Uh, Sam, you all right? Good. All right, Chris, you're 28. You're in the gig. What's up? Hi, Mo. Hi, what's going on? Um, hi. Just the question. Because I've been, I've been seeing someone for almost uh, one and a half years, and mm-hmm. we're not in a relationship, but, yeah, we're having sex. Good. Mm. And it was just like nice. that. If, um, if, would I still see him, or will I stop this? 
Well, I, uh, what do you want out of this? You want a relationship with him? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, you're not well, sure. Well, if you're not sure, then you can still continue to have sex if it mm-hmm. makes you happy, if it makes him happy, just as long as he's not married, just as long as he doesn't have a girlfriend. Or babies. Yeah, or... Uh, yeah, or, or miss him. I'm just on don't the, get pregnant. I think, uh, I think I'm on the... Does he... end here, because I'm starting to, like... <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens with with the with the fuck buddy thing. Is somebody okay. always tends to mm. like fall in love? It, it cause two years. Remember, my rule on the f buddy is you can only do it for about three or four months. After that, someone's gonna fall in love. You've been f buddying this guy for two years. Of course, you're gonna fall in love. There is a rule to follow with the friends with benefits. You can't do it longer than quarter of a year. Mm, okay. The fact Thank that it's you. been two years for you, of course, it's gonna drive you nuts. I know. All right, okay. find someone else to do it with. Alrighty. All right. Thank you. Unless you want a relationship with him, and then go ahead and open up. Say, listen, we've been doing this for two years. I know that we've never thought, we've never talked about it, or we don't think about it. But I think I'm ready to talk about it. Do we have a future together? If he says no, prepare for that, and then move on. Okay. Or if Thank not, you. you're gonna fall in love more and more every day with this guy, and it's gonna drive you crazy because he only looks at you as sex. Yeah. You're All right. right. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Sam, you a big casual sex person? Mm, not really. Not really. Darn. <laughs> uh, let's go to Singapore. Let's take a Singapore wow, call here, real quick. Um, let us get him on Skype. His name is Jeff, I believe. Let's see if Jeff is here. Jeff, are you here? Hold on, he's calling from Singapore. I want to know what his uh, question is. Jeff, hello. Jeff. Hello. Singapore. Hi. Jeff, hello. No, I don't think Ooh. he's here. I don't think he might, he might not have a microphone here. All right, let's go ahead and move on then. Let's talk to uh, Tony here. Tony, you're 25. What's up? Hello. Tony? Tony. Hello. Hi, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Mo. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, uh, I just uh, need to ask you this question. It's, I'm so, so... Um, hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We're listening. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I just wanted to, um, to ask how can guys prolong, you know, having sex and... With their girlfriends without popping or without coming. Yeah, uh, how long? Uh, do you have a boyfriend right now? Yeah. And it's how not long? With my boyfriend. It's with my friend's boyfriend because when we have this girl talk, that's always the topic. Sure. How long are they lasting? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, after a few penetrations, I mean, he comes. Yeah, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, we get this question a lot, and, and you know it, it's almost on a nightly basis, so we kind of have to reiterate it because it seems to be the number one problem for females actually calling the show, saying my husband or my boyfriend comes too fast. It starts with maybe he can start masturbating before you guys have sex. Maybe I'd say about 10 minutes to 15 minutes prior to you guys starting to make out and do the foreplay, make sure he masturbated already because the second round is always going to be generally longer. Gan, what would you say? An extra four minutes, five minutes, maybe seven minutes yeah, around that time, yeah. than usual? That's going to help out a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, there is condoms out there that have uh, desensitizing lubricants mm-hmm. um, inside them that might help out. But we, I, I mean, I'm more of that as a last resort because I think it might desensitize you as well. Mm-hmm. Um, there are ways where they could, while having sex, and if they feel like they're going to ejaculate already, they'll stop and then change positions. Yeah, that's another way. Yeah. Um, another one is looking for the position where he lasts longest in. Um, usually, that's the one he doesn't masturbate in so often. Hmm. All right. So there, there, <laughs> there's four or five things that you can do here. Number one, though, on the list is make sure he tries to masturbate at least 15, 20 minutes before he's going to have sex. <laughs> okay. Are your boyfriend's oh. fine here? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, how I mean, long? How long is he lasting? Uh, long. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, yeah. cool. Yeah. All right, Tony. Thanks for the call, babe. Okay, thanks, Mo. No Bye. worries. Bye bye. Um, let us take uh one more call. Or you know, we got we have a couple calls here, but they're on hold right now, so they're not ready to go. Let me ask Sam here. Sam. Yeah. You transferred from ABS to GMA. Mm-hmm. Yes. How was that? I mean, it was great decision. Um, you know, it was my manager's decision, actually. Viva's decision. Because uh-huh. um, I did a uh, Your Song in ABS. Do you know what that yeah, is? Yeah, It's sure. a once-a-week show. Um, and after that, parang they were like, okay, parang you, we don't think you have projects there anymore. And then GMA offered something, and it was really good, actually. So yeah. why not go for that, right? So then you're happy with this now? Very happy. 
How far do you want to get into the showbiz gig? Like, if you weren't in show business, what do you think you'd be doing? Ooh, I'd probably be still studying now. Mm-hmm. Uh, fashion, de- fashion design. I was gonna probably say that you look like you'd be the fashion designer type of girl. You got really? the, you got the multicolored scarf coming in here, the, the, <laughs> the, the different kind of look and stuff like that. So, I mean, <laughs> is that something you're still gonna get into? Oh yeah, why not? Maybe um, if I'm not the, that busy anymore, mm-hmm. why not? I study in London or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, no, this is an awesome city. Now, guys in showbiz, I'm sure a lot of dudes hit on you. Who hits on you the most? You know, in in GMA, no one is really, except for Casey, no one really <laughs> has mad at me. my number. <laughs> what about the ABS guys? I mean, how many guys, like, give me a celebrity you had to turn down. Oh, my God. Come on. You know, wait, wait, wait. First of all, I think, you know, everyone, all guys are, almost all guys are scared of me. Why is that? I don't know. They think I'm going to bite or something. I don't intimidated. know. Intimidated? Very, very so, intimidated. But, uh, is there what? Think- what? Has there been one celebrity that mentioned Macholeto? He's he's kind of wanted to date you for a while. Gives you a couple celebrity, texts. Celebrity, celebrity. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, oh, I think they're all scared of me for some reason. All right. Mm-hmm. But but you've had celebrity boyfriends. No. All right. I had a well basketball player boyfriend. Oh, you like the ballers, huh? Mm. Or you just happen to be a baller. You just happen to be a baller. All right. Yeah, you stay away from the ballers, man. They're Babaero. G- <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, super. They're crazy, Babaero. G, you're from Pasay. What's up? Yeah, hi. What's going on? Yeah. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Is it, is it kind of normal? Because whenever, whenever I watch um, two girls making out on, on, on movies, yeah. it turns me on. So you watched, like, Chloe last year, and you were like, hell yeah. <laughs> Chloe was yeah. awesome. Did you fucking yeah, say Chloe, was. Sam? No, what's up? You gotta watch Chloe. It's a Very movie nice with movie. Um, Amanda Siegfried and uh, what's the name of the red-headed girl, dude? Help me here. Julianne uh, Moore? Moore. Is that what it is? Yeah. They yeah. have a lesbo scene that'll blow your brains away. Gan, have you seen it? Really? Nope, nope. Oh, oh. Um, like, I'll check it out. Scenes of that. It, it's thing. It's 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 nuts. It, it's a great great scene. I'm not really into the two girls making out stuff or like when I see it, like in a movie, like two girls having sex. Not really my thing. Um, but that one was awesome. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. You want to know if it was normal? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask Sam. Sam, when you see two chicks making out, do you kind of like, does it, does it make you hot? For me? Yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Um, I guess it depends on how they really like make out. Maybe it's the way that Chloe movie did. It. Dude, you got to see that freaking movie, see, Sam. See, it's even nuts. You it's were like, oh, but like you have Black Swan that's coming oh. out here. And I hear there's a huge sex scene there. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Is it awesome? Yeah, it was really cool. It's interesting and different. I got confused. <laughs> oh, wow. so so when you see it as a as a female, and you you're, you have no lesbian tendencies, or you no, kind no, no. never never made out with a girl. No, not all right. Anything. When you see something like that, though, because as a guy, I've never made out with a man, and if I saw two dudes, <laughs> like if I saw two guys, like I have no problem with gay guys at all. No, like I mean, we're surrounded by them in, 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 in the industry and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I'm fine. I'll flirt with them just to fuck around, but. If I saw two guys making out on in a sh- on a television show or in a movie, I'm like, boo! I, yeah, boo! yeah. Actually, guys are different. Guys running. making out. Are yeah, how about two big? guys holding hands, Mo? How do you okay. react with that? Listen, I don't want to sound like a homophobe. Yeah. But if I saw two dudes holding mm-hmm. hands next to me, mm-hmm. I just kind of take a couple steps away. Yeah. yeah. It, it's not. Same doesn't here. mean homophobic. I don't think. I, I, at least I don't think it is. I love the gays. I grew up in mm-hmm. homosexual. Mm-hmm. I have homosexual relatives, like very close, like siblings, and I'm fine. It's just. I'd rather not. So I'm not alone in the feeling, uh, you know. When Hold, you holding hands, I can talk. <laughs> kissing and f- kissing next to me, like ten feet away. I'm mm. like, boo, boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah they, they, they're fun to be with, but you mm-hmm. know. I'm they're, still not used to them to seeing them in public holding but, hands. But no. but chicks though, yeah. chicks when you guys are making out, you, you actually you even find for girls, hot. it's yeah. a bit weird when guys are mm, two dudes making out. Yeah yeah yeah. God, we sound like we're such an anti-homosexual no, show. No, but I do it like we said. We all love them. They're really fun to be with, but it's kind of a bit weird. Just don't make out next to me. Yeah <laughs> yeah, but then I mean, um, seeing a lesbo and another girl kiss is totally different, right? But then actually, really, two two girls. Kissing or making out. Have you made but, out? Have you made out with a girl before? Not yet. And, but and sometimes it crossed my mind. All right. And do you have a prospective chicks that you might want to try it out with? None. But oh, there's try, this listen, try guy, it. Okay. guy friend of mine. Yeah. Said he wanted to look for someone. For mm-hmm. a threesome. Uh, well, huh? For a threesome. For someone um, for you. 
to make out with? Sort of. Ah. What if, why don't you try the three something if you want to give it a look? At least you get both best of both worlds. You'll find out which one you like more. They're right there in front of you, like a nice little buffet, and then you give it a shot. <laughs> but then these are the things that um, I'm trying to process inside my mind. It's not really that I want to do it, but because I love men. Sure. I would prefer men sure. mm-hmm. over women. But you want to make sure. Will that have, uh, um, like, cholesterol tendency? Listen, if you wake up one day and you really want to try it, give it a shot. It'll confirm all the doubts you have in your mind. You might enjoy it. You might go lesbian. You might enjoy it. You might go bisexual. You might be repulsed by it, and then you'll know forever. Every time you see two chicks and stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily mean you're lesbian. Maybe the only way to do it is to just try it. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Uh, and Doc Gan. Yeah. Hi. Uh, why? How can you classify someone as nymphomaniac? Oh, someone who loves to have sex. Mm. But is nymphomaniac different from sexual addiction? Almost the same. Okay, so it's not just someone who likes to have sex. It's someone who whose sexual who who promiscuity yeah. takes over the mm-hmm. rest of their life. Meaning you can't work mm-hmm. because you want to have sex. Mm-hmm. You can't even. I mean, how how your, your how, house how can is, someone transpire? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Like, um, to be someone very interested in, in doing sex. Look, it's, it's, it's like this. As long as it does not interfere with your social life, it's okay. But as if it now stops you from doing your usual stuff, your usual things, then that becomes a problem. It becomes pathologic. That's how mm-hmm. everything is. We're all a bit crazy in the head. But um, as long as we can control it, it's okay. The same thing with sex. Um, sex is okay, but if it interferes with your daily lives, with your social mm-hmm. lives, you don't get to see your other friends, you don't go out of the house, all you think mm-hmm. of is sex. The first thing in the morning that you do is sex, and then before you don't eat breakfast, you don't go to work, then that becomes a problem. It becomes pathologic. Then that's the time you, yeah. know, you have to see someone to, yeah, to you fix get, it. Then you got to see a therapist. Right? Yeah. Well, how, often, how often are you thinking about it? Which one? Sex. Every day. All right, and do, do you do you masturbate every day? Kinda. I yeah. mean, it, will that be considered as an info? No, it depends. How many times are you masturbating a day? G. Once a day, but too many times a day. <laughs> no. What do you what mean? Do you, like you can you? How many times are you masturbating within the day? Um, once a day, but um, like. I may have to come two or three times. That's fine. That's uh, how much? How much? Like, okay. what do you? What do you? You you dedicate thirty minutes a day to masturbating? Something like that. Yeah, okay. you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. When you start so dedicating, that's not an info. No, no, no. no, no you no, just have a high no. sex drive. You're cool. No. You're cool. Yeah, and info is someone who, for example, you have to do some go to the grocery or you have to go. Um, no, maybe not even grocery because that's not mandatory. Say you have to go pick up your daughter there, at school. Okay. It's two thirty, and you're okay. like, okay, you look at the clock. It's two twenty-five. I still got twenty minutes. minutes to masturbate <laughs> to. My daughter can wait. Then yeah. you're then the, that's when it started. You're a nymphomaniac. You're sex oh. addict. You it's need a to sign, know. yeah. Right. And always needs to end up having sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, when it starts interfering with your daily life, yes, that's that's a problem, all right? Then you're going to have to see a therapist and unwire that from your head, all right? Okay. All right, thank you, dear. Wait, can I say hi sure. to all the all, all everyone who's online at the Sunmi Like Bucket Room? I can't understand your writing, so I'll just try to read whatever this is. MC Potts, King Zaldivar, Tipsy, John Batar, Bat- Batan, Berlin, Edward, hi to... Bra Arian and Melari. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't understand your writing. So there. Hi, everyone. All right. If you guys want to call the show, the phone number is 659-6969. Instead of chatting, why not chat on air with Sam Pinto? She's here. She's the uh, new endorser for San Miguel Light. We're going to be taking a commercial break again. This is going to be our last break. And then a chant at a laptop. Sam, just think about your favorite uh, caller of the night. And we'll go ahead and uh, see if they can win that huge prize. Don't go away. Back after this is the podcast. Stay t- 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, what about my model? Quit it. 
Yo no puede. Uy, si se han pinto. Puede nada. Uy, San Miguel. Puede. Low calorie San Miguel. Magan sa chan. Para huma bang inuman. Puede mo join friends ko. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Sandmade Light and powered by SmartPro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. It's the Chinese New Year officially, about about thirty minutes ago. So all you. People who celebrate that. That's right. Kung Fat Choi. Happy Kung New Fat Year Choi. for the uh, Chinese people or people who, again, live in that area. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for being part of the show here. We can download this off iTunes, off MoTwister.com if you wish. Sam Pinto on the program. She is the new endorser for San Mig Light, which is, of course, our major sponsor. So naturally, we have her here. And <laughs> Hello. So far, a lot of people are tweeting me from, uh, from really? like this guy, Larry. He's uh, from New York. He wow. says you are so good looking. Prettiest girl we've had here on the show. Thank you, Larry. As per him. Yeah, as per him. Um, Sexy. That's right. Let's get some more of your calls. 659-6969. Sam, any, anyone yet you liked uh, calling the show today? Liked? Oh, my gosh. Or you want to wait till we uh, can get we further wait? along? Yeah, let's get further wait, along. Wait, can I say hi again? Absolutely, go. Here's Heidi Blade, Jonathan Nang. Centrino Mobile, Ed Sanglap, and April. Hello again. They're in San Miguel Bucket List room. All right, let's go to Lorraine. She's 26, Las Piñas. Lorraine, you have a question for Sam. What's up? Oh, yeah, hi. Um, I just have a question for Sam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there any chance na, or um, na isip mo na magkakaroon ka ng girlfriend? Mag- ng girlfriend? Yeah. Alam mo, never. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Lorraine? Do, I really like guys, period. <laughs> do you like her, Lorraine? Like, do you want to have relations with her? Wow. No, no. Um, I'm actually in a relationship right now. With a guy. So, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kaya naisip ko lang. Kasi hindi kong ganda mo. <laughs> now, Thank you. Now, Lorraine, have you always been lesbian or is this something you kind of just picked up um, recently? Um, well, bye. Kasi bye. nagkaroon na naman ako boyfriend. ng boyfriend. And is there... W- w- okay, what are the pros and cons? Well, what, what, makes, what makes having a girl lover, since you're bisexual, better than a guy lover? Mm, for me... Well, siguro kasi yung mga naging boyfriends ko, hindi sila okay. Like, um, even if they are too in love or we are t- we are in love with each other, hindi rin ganun na mag-click. It's either um, aalis sila ng bansa, mm. mga ganun. Do you think Ipong, ano din? Dahil babae din yung ka-relationship mo. Mas naintindihan ka? Yeah. yeah. She knows how exactly. you feel. Yeah. Sexually, what's more satisfactory? I haven't tried with the guy kasi. So, oh, wow, really? No. Hindi ko masasagot yan. Wow, okay. And, and, but, but, but the sexual stuff with the female is awesome. Yeah. All right, wow. good times. Superb. Try, try, the, try the guy. Um, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. All right, Maybe kapag single na ako. Oh. So yeah, thanks for, the, thanks for the call, Ray. Appreciate right. it. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Thank Let's you. go to Stan, who's 32. Stan, you're in Manila. What's up? Oh, hi. What's going um, on? I just want to ask, no? Um, yeah. If you're out on a date and you don't know the girl yet, um, hanggang ilan ang pwede mong inumin na beer? <laughs> ilang bote ng beer ang pwede mong inumin? Sam, how long does it take you to get tipsy? How many how many sand make lights? Oh, no. Probably like four? Four. Five. Yeah. Wow. That's... that's, that's oh, sorry, I drink no. a lot. <laughs> that's good. Really? Yeah. So, um, if you... you Of course, there are guys who are going to try to buy you drinks constantly, right? Mm-hmm. How many... Uh, how many before you stop talking to guys just because you know you know just, I've had too many four to five <laughs> four to five and then you already start you start okay the, the walls are up yeah well it depends on the guy if I really like the guy of course the walls are gonna stay down <laughs> depends really yeah alright Stan okay so question four, but it depends I mean it depends on how quick someone yeah. gets uh, wasted she can do four or five and she's still coherent okay uh, what's the best um, food to pair up with a sand mixed light. Ooh, good question. Mm. Uh, Sam, Sam, favorite favorite food. Ooh, I like 
you know, sisig. The we, usual. The other night we were drinking here, the interns and all, uh, and all of us, we were having some sandbag light and we had it with crispy pata and mm-hmm. that was Ooh. solid. Oof, yeah. that was that good. Sounds good. Everybody was attacking it. So <laughs> You know what's good to pair with alcohol, beer okay. or hard drink, is um, to take in some fatty foods before you drink. Oh, yeah. This What it does, it the coats oil. your, st- yeah, the oil coats the tummy, the stomach lining and um, prevents the alcohol from uh, being absorbed right away. Yeah. So slowly absorbing the alcohol will will your your tolerance for the for I the alcohol gets longer. some magazine that if you're tipsy or something, you also eat oily food. It's the same thing. It's the yeah. same yeah. thing. Yeah. Before yeah. and after is the mm-hmm. same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Oh. Gotcha. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. JB, you're on a cell phone. What's going on? You have a question for uh, Sam Pinto who's here. What's up? Oh, hi. Uh, hello. hello. Good evening, Mo and Sam and Doctor Dan. Hi. Uh, what do you got? Uh, I just want to ask some. If, um, do you prefer dating non showbiz guys? Actually, um, any really for me, because whoever I fall in love with, it doesn't matter if he's in showbiz or not. Oh, oh, and, uh, uh, can I ask a follow up question? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Um, what qualities do you lo- uh, look for the guys? <laughs> Yeah. Um, of course, number one is uh, he should he should be good looking. Should the yeah. guy, <laughs> dude, who doesn't want an an ugly guy, right? Yeah. And baba physical. Are we talking about physical or just anything? probably all around? I mean, okay, let's, let's all uh, around. Mm, um, I prefer I prefer someone taller than me. Mm-hmm. I want to wear heels, naman, ba? Yeah. And also, what else? Uh, funny. I love family oriented because I'm really close to my mom. So, sure. You know the usual good stuff. Yeah. All right, Rich. All right, Rich. Thank you. All right. Does he gotta have a lot of money, Sam? <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> Preferably. Gotta have a lot of money. Uh, that's just a plus. <laughs> yeah. Six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. Showbiz guys. Um, what don't you like about them? If there's a quality about showbiz, showbiz guys, guys. Yeah, that you don't like. I always much Adam showbiz. You know, you know that. Yeah. Show well, showbiz. What are we like? Too into themselves. Yeah. Too what's into with the showbiz career guys? Path? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's with showbiz guys? Um. Um, yeah, but probably they're super into themselves, nah, nah. Mm. Dude, hello. Much like Bo Twister. No. No. <laughs> no. Hey, he said that. How dare you. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Mark, you're 31. What's up? Yeah, Mark. hi. Hi, you have a question. What's up? My question is for Dr. Gan. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, basically, my question is like this. If I'm coming, so motion do a dap at SH or what? But Mark, 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 are you on a cell phone? Yeah. All right. Try to find the move your head around a little bit better. So you're a little choppy. Try it again. Go ahead. And now clear. Yeah. Go. Okay. Um, if you're coming, basically, di ba dapat tatalsik siya and you're coming. Pero on my case, hindi kasi. It doesn't fire out like like yeah. like aggressively. What is it? Drip? It just drips down your penis. I just want to ask if that's normal or. That's a good question, Doc. I've that, that's all because you know sometimes a guy. They 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 uh they get a kick out of being able to jizz distance, you know. Mm, like, yeah. Boom! Oh wow! I just hit the mirror. Look at that awesome. Hold on, where did where did you get the idea that you know it should it should spurt out? Well, because you, you, where where do you get that? Yeah, personal experience. Listen, okay. I see it on movies. Mm-hmm. Personal experience. Mm-hmm. There there are games that 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 I, I've never played the guy game with you know uh, hmm. what's this um the distance uh the jizzing distance <laughs> game but yeah. that happens thing. when I pee my pee doesn't drip down my oh, penis definitely it, it fires okay. out you know what mm-hmm. I mean so everything that comes out of the penis tends to go with okay. a little bit of force and okay. that's you just kind of do that mm-hmm. yeah. now, now now do you have problem peeing is it your your piss coming out fine. Yeah, it's just parang gumagapang lang, parang ganun lang after. Even peeing? Sorry? Even peeing? I don't know. Okay, just, just, uh, okay, just ejaculate. Yeah. All right, Gan, is there a medical yeah. problem here? No, there's none. Hmm. So it's okay. Uh, it will just drip down. Um, the the force that, that that makes the the semen squirts out is is more of um, some sort of valsalva. It, it's just like when you, when you, um, increase the pressure in your tummy, so it is more. It takes more of a practice rather than you know, comes yeah, out but, naturally. Yeah, but but even okay. For example, say you haven't ejaculated in three or four days, right? Which is a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> sorry, Sam. Uh, it's a lifetime. You should have been able to build up enough like umph there, enough force to at least fire out. If you're still dripping down, isn't the, that isn't that worrisome? What what you're, what you're talking about is you're accumulating enough semen for three days before you masturbate. No, what I'm saying is so like, it, if you but it doesn't it doesn't increase the pressure though. 
Even it if seems you like it does. Like if I don't ejaculate like in four or five days, I feel like I've fucking no, the pre- in there. That, the pressure like, still comes from the abdomen. Erection is harder than ever, and you just want to blow. No, the pressure comes from the abdomen. It's how you. It's how um, the sense it, the the stimulation that you give to yourself. So oh, okay. it's more of um, increasing the pressure in your abdomen, doing that valsalva thing. Then it, it squeezes out everything that you've you've um, accumulated for have that you, whole three have days. Have you tried, um, Mark? Have you tried firing it out? Yeah. Um, since I'm 31 already, but previously when I was a bit younger, yeah. It's so good yeah. fired out, but right now it doesn't. That's right. normal. That's normal. All right. Thanks for the call. No, no, no medical problem. No worries. Wow. I've, I, I would absolutely think I have to cut my penis off if that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely. Elmer, you're 31. Singapore. Happy New Year. Hello. <clears throat> Elmer. Hi. Hold Happy on. New Year. Elmer. How you doing? Yes, hello, Mo. There Listen to are. the phone, Elmer, not to the computer. Yeah, I am. I am. All right, yeah. what's up, man? Happy New Year. What's up? I just want to ask some um, uh, doctor again. Go yeah. shoot. Yeah, about some allergy with condoms. You know. You have an allergy mm-hmm. to condoms. Yeah, I have. Every time I use it, uh, after a few minutes, I think it's like some redness in it. You know. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, that happens. So, uh, if there's any alternative or something I could use for. Type from condom, you know. There are hypoallergenic condoms, but still, um, it depends on the type of condoms. Um, the latex, the one that is more allergenic. Yeah, so yeah, there's a polyurethane that yeah, you can use. Yeah, there are other kinds there's of other you know, ones. materials. Right. Try what you do is um, open up a condom, try rubbing it on your arm for for some time, and then check if it's it's going to react. If it does not, then it's most probably safe for you to wear that condom. Well, but if it's latex, which most of them are, you're going to be <coughs> excuse me, you're going to be allergic. It doesn't matter. What brand, right? Yeah. So if you go to the, you look for the brands that are the polyurethanes or maybe these mm-hmm. other other ones. You go ahead and just buy that one. They okay. maybe not as maybe not as effective, but at least you know it's not latex and it's mm-hmm. not giving you the allergy. It's most most of the time it's the latex that causes the allergy. Now is this for your girlfriend or is this for your casual sex partner? Uh, I think it's the latter one. And for the casual, yeah. For, so definitely yeah. you're gonna with the condoms. I hear Premier is awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah. You see that? You like that little plug for you guys? Uh-huh, That's right. Uh-huh. So premier condoms. Go get it. Go open it up and then rub premier. it on your skin, on your on the back of your uh, at the back of your hand. And then check if it, okay. it reacts for. Let it stay for say five, uh, two to three minutes. And then if, okay, if yeah. it doesn't react, then you're good to go. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Okay. How's this, how's the celebration? Can I have one more question. Yeah. How's the celebration in Singapore tonight? Actually, it's quite boring here. Well, I think Singapore. the Chinese, they're all going back to China or, you know, they yeah, go out. It is, ah. yeah, it, it is Singapore. Singapore. All right, next question, quickly. Yeah, just want to ask them how many Sunday glides can she down, you know? We already answered that, by the way. It was uh, four, uh, four to five four to before five. she starts getting tips. Okay. Thanks, man. Okay, Bye-bye. okay. okay right. thanks, thanks, man. Thanks. Let's go to thanks, Francis, thanks. who's 30. Francis, you're on the show. What's up? Hello. Yes, Francis, go ahead. Yes, I would just like to ask to, uh, Dr. Gann a question. Yeah, sure. shoot, go ahead. Yeah, because uh, I have a friend who told me, because I'm not drinking beer, um, uh, a friend of mine told me that uh, before doing the deed, one should uh, drink beer so that it would prolong uh, the coming of, you know. You mean sustain your stamina. I mean, yeah. b- better stamina if you're drunk. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, is, that, is there any truth about it? Again, it seems like it'll give you it, it might work because you're kind of number, I don't know, but it won't give you the erection that you're looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Um, alcohol in general is initially stimulant and then will become a depressant if you take it for a longer t- period of time. Really? So that's yeah. why you can last a little longer. Yep. All right. Wow. So it's true, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true, some sort, but some sort. you might be wasted, wasted, yeah, and depends, it might not depends be able to time. perform anyway. Yeah. I see. So you won't be able to feel it. <laughs> well, no, not necessarily. You just you're not going to be at your. You're not going to be the man that you that you want to be. If you're really, really drunk, if you're tipsy, <laughs> then you're fine. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Right? Oh, I see. Okay. And and so well, what's the what's the solution? Sad me light. Sad me light. You can drink more. <laughs> mm-hmm. yes. You can drink more. You can have a longer uh, drinking session. And when you perform in the bedroom, you're still awesome. Uh, okay. Thanks, Francis. Thank you so much. Right. Bye bye. Okay, good. Bucket night, San Miguel. That's yes, right. It's party all night, event all Elaine, you're 24. Sam Pinto is here. She's a new endorser for San Miguel. What's going on? Hello. Hey, Sam. Hey, Mo. What's up? What's up? We're good. What, what, what can we do for you? Uh, well, I have a question. Fire away. All right. My question is if you're dating this girl you really like, but you end up falling in love for her best friend. Ooh. All right. How do you tell your girl? 
Because you don't want to go two timing or anything. Well, right? listen, no. you, you, if you're gonna, when you fall in love with the best friend, does the best friend like you too? Yeah, because how would how else would you fall in love with her if she doesn't? Well, take no, you? I mean you don't. She doesn't have to like you. I mean you can just fall in love with her. Because the problem is, you're you're gonna ruin their friendship as well. No, because if she's not entertaining you, you're just falling in love falling in love with the idea of. All right, but, who but she is. okay, but Elaine, if uh, Elaine, if. Your girlfriend started falling in love with your best guy friend. How would you take it? I don't. I wouldn't mind. He's my best guy, so he's probably mm. great. Oh. It's not great. That yeah, means you're no. a douchebag, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's that's it's, it's, it's a no, it's a no. character revelation on your part. Yeah. Um. Listen, you're whatever you say, you're gonna hurt her feelings. Yep. All right. And the fact that you care about her feelings is kind of cool. Mm. Um. Most guys like you, I would think, would just just dump her and not not give a shit because you know you're just one of those kind of guys so the fact that it bothers you a little bit is a good sign now there's no easy way mm-hmm. um, to do it she's gonna get crushed um, it's it's gonna suck she's gonna hate you she's gonna hate her friend it's bad all around I think you should give it some time you break up with her first talk to the best friend discreetly if you guys need to don't make a big deal out of it don't, don't announce it to anyone yet and then maybe down the line maybe if she's healed a little bit a year, then you can you can tell her, but she's still gonna be. Yeah, dude, that's your best friend, Sam. Can the guy or the girl wait? No, no, no. You guys are still going out. Just yeah, don't. Yeah, d- yeah. You do it discreetly. You meet at the mot mot. You go at the house where you can't be seen. You can't go outside in public yet. You can't hold hands. You can't watch movies. That's just wow. if you carry uh, if you care about how she feels towards true, her best friend. True. Even after a year, she's gonna be pissed off. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right, Lane. Is that it? That's it, buddy. All Thank right. you. Thanks, brother. Appreciate the call. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sam, mm-hmm. top of your head, anybody you liked tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Hmm. If no, then then no. But I mean, you go. Because we're giving away. Yeah, we're giving a chance. But if you didn't feel like anyone was worthy, then we can. You know, we don't have to. But really, yeah. Any of what the do you callers, go? Yeah. Wait, what? I don't remember their names though. No, you don't have to remember names. Just remember the call. The call. Um, what do I like? Ooh, I like the husky voice. Girl from earlier, <laughs> yeah. Pat, yeah, small. Remember that forty-two-year-old uh, cancer, or was it a dialysis girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was a husky girl, right? Yeah, we we'll tried to yeah. reach her. Can you get her back on the sh- on the show? Okay, thank you, appreciate it. Bye bye. All right, let's go to Sai, who's in uh, QC. Sai, what's up? Hello. 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 Sai. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's up? Uh, hey, Mo. Hi. What's going on? Yeah, I have a question right now. Sure. Uh, is it okay to fall in love with a present office mate or just, or just a present or former office mate? Sai, that, that, that's, that's a dumb question because a lot of people fall in love no. with office I mean, mates. I mean, do you believe that office romance lasts long? Yeah, well, that's how you meet a lot of people. Gan married uh, his wife whom, whom he met at, uh, at med work school, yeah. or med school. I've had girlfriends. Really? Most yeah. of my that's girlfriends, I'd say not like, you know, what, five out of six have been from show business because that's where I work and that's where yeah. you meet them. That's where you spend yeah. a lot of time with them. That's absolutely normal. Mm. Okay. Sorry, come on, man. Did that Really? That's your question? <laughs> yeah, but because I'm really confused right now if it's the right thing to do. Since, uh, in, in my own personal belief, uh, I don't believe in office romance. Well, that, that, dude, but, that. That's it, 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 it might mess up your work, mm-hmm. yeah, but it's that, that, realistic to think. Yeah, it's realistic to think that you might fall in love with someone at work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye. Let's hey. go to uh, Joef, who's in Singapore. Joef, what's up? Hello. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, I just have a question. If g- girls really like and cut guys. Oh, that's a good question. Sam, have you ever seen uh, uncircumcised penis? In mm. in real life. In real life, no. No, and if you saw one, would you would you run? Most probably, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's weird. I don't know. So there's or maybe your, I'm just not used to it. Jeff, there's your answer. I mean, are are you uncircumcised? No, I had a um, few guys and uh, last huh? night. They're like out of. <laughs> oh, you're a gay guy. Yeah. All right. I'm so, gay. so there's a there's a couple guys in Singapore that you're banging that are uncut. There are three guys I had sex last night, and they're Whoa. quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. Hold on. Lower the three fucking, guys, lower uh, fucking radio in the background or whatever that is because it's it's messing me up. Uh, maybe it's just the TV. Well, okay. turn it off, Joe. Jesus Christ, you're on a fucking show. Let's go. We're watching TFC. Come on. I don't give a shit. Turn it off. <laughs> it's fucking rude. 
There you go. So much better. <laughs> all right, Joe. So what? You were banging three guys last night. Yeah, and all they're all uncut. Oh, I mean, okay. it it doesn't it didn't um, smell bad as they said, and it's not really bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> but something. But Jeff, Jeff, let's go. Fucking hey, talk to us instead of that bitch in the background. Oh, they're they're listening to you, so I don't give. Jeff, I don't care. You have a responsibility to this program right yeah. now. So, okay, so you're you're having sex with three guys. You don't like them. <laughs> Bye. Jeff, go get hepacy, please. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd like I'd like to to tell him. Yeah, be careful. He's he's having promiscuous sex. Three guys in a night. Um, have I, himself tested for and gets shots for HPV. No, jo- HPV? Jeff, don't. Don't do any of those things. Just stay at home. Have sex with <laughs> as many men as possible. Strangers, the better, so your dick can fall off. Because I oh hate you. Oh, my gosh. Asshole. Carl. Carl. Hello. Bye. Carl, you're in Laguna? Hi, I'd like to Hello? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Wait, wait, What's no. happening? He's on delay and he's listening to the computer like all the Hello? other... Yes. No. Carl, what's up? Listen to the phone, please. What's going on? Hello? Hello, Benix. Carl, turn off the phone. Turn off the radio, please. Turn off the radio. Or turn off the computer. Yeah, whatever. turn off the computer. Yes. All right, what's your question? Then, then talk to us. <laughs> okay, hi, Gerald Santos, John Paul, Jay Sa- Sanlo. <laughs> Hello? Who's, what happened to yeah. that dude? There you are. All right, go He's ahead. Yes, what? Carl. Carl, please don't don't let's not the sh- let's not end the show with two dumb shits. Just want to ask her, I know, some if it's okay for a woman to go out with a guy, even if she's already with someone else. Okay, listen, Pat. Yes, Mo. Remove Carl <laughs> and everyone else who's a dumbass from the list. <laughs> okay. All right. It. And how are we going with the caller of the night? Um, nobody's picking up in her. Hello. House. Oh. All right. No, no Ca- Carl. Hello. Yeah, no, kiss my ass, Carl. I'm talking to Pat here. <laughs> Pat, so our caller of the night's not picking up. Yeah, she's probably right. sleeping. All right, we'll give her a shot uh, maybe tomorrow after the show to win the prize, all right? Okay. Thanks for it. All right, uh, Sam Pinto here. Sam, I want to thank you for being part of the program. I know we kept you here really late because uh, we started. Late. I'm sorry? Yesterday's, Yesterday's caller of the night? Yeah, yeah, we'll discuss it maybe after the show. <laughs> That sort of thing. All right. Um, yeah. So thanks for being here, dear. We appreciate it Thank very much. Very Congratulations much. on the uh, San Mig Light um, yeah. endorsement. Thank you. That's a huge, huge project Thank for you. you. I'm Rash. sure you're really, really thrilled about it. Yep. Thank you so much for having me. I learned a lot, actually. Can Good. We, this show is actually you. crazy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. well, you're, 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 I got well, shocked. You're welcome to come back uh-huh. anytime, all right? <laughs> Maybe I'll be more prepared by then. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> so Sam Pinto, and, you can catch her on uh, Captain Barbell, which is going to be on GMA7. Mm-hmm. Um, it should. When does the show actually start? March. The show starts in March. Tentative. She'll be on there yeah. as a superhero. Um, side by side with Richie Gutierrez and of course you can see her uh, all over the San Miguel Light stuff whether it be commercials probably events mm-hmm. um, anything you want to plug for San Miguel Light um, yes just log on to the website www.sanmiguelight.com.ph and of course Facebook like the, like the TVC please please like the TVC it's really nice Have you guys, You should. everyone should see it it's really really nice I'm so proud of that TVC gotcha alright uh, we'll see you tomorrow Senator Pia Cayetano will be here so we'll wow. take more of your phone calls more prizes to give away it's going to be a lot of fun with her to have a senator to sit here mm-hmm. and um, talk about your lives your relationship your sex life you can pick her brain about certain things like that Gan thanks for uh, thanks for another uh, good day yeah, happy new year Mo thank you engineer uh, Miguel as well and by the way if we're saying happy new year it doesn't mean it's December 31st because we're in <laughs> Asia not. there's a bunch of Chinese here yeah. and they're celebrating their new year tonight mm-hmm. alright we'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys have a great great day Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Mig Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a Battle Axe production, recorded at the Smart Pro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com. Ah!